Hello, I hope you're doing well through lockdown. It's it's challenging times for all of us. We've moved on quite some time since my last video. Um, I took you walking through the streets of Bishop's Cleave with Kamut to show you uh, how great um, this app works as a, like a sat nav that kind of ensures that you don't get lost when you go off on a walk, you know, that you're gonna know that if you just follow that route that it's gonna keep you safe and take you uh, where the route is taking you. Um, and you know, for me personally, it's been brilliant to go off with my family uh, into the countryside, following a route, knowing that I'm not gonna get us lost uh, in the snow um, and freezing conditions that we've had. So um, I wanted to show you today um, just how you can find uh, a range of routes that are already available commute, uh, on Kamut. Um, so I'm gonna minimize myself and take you to the website. <clears throat> So here, this is effectively the page that it takes you to. So it's a discover page. Uh, when you go to um, to Kamut, you know you can see I'm logged in here. I have my own account. It's free to get an account, and um, you can it's straight away. It's prompting you to find the perfect tour. So we'll click on hiking, and we can just search Cheltenham. The unfortunate reality is that there are not a vast array of walks around Cheltenham. Instantly, we can see it's taken us to Borton on the Water. Borton on the Water. Uh, I can uh, reduce the length of walks. So, so we want to keep it between uh, one and a half and three hours. I can uh, make sure that, oops, no, I've done that the wrong way around. Make sure that they are easy to intermediate, if that's what I want at the time. Uh, but even still, uh, it's it's only sending me on walks around uh, Borton on the Water. Now I have got up here, you can see within 30 kilometers. So let's take that down to 20k. All right, so now we're getting a bit closer to home. Uh, so I'm in Bishop's Cleeve. Um, this is Devil's Chimney. So this is up Lake Hampton Hill, which is great. Okay, really nice to know. Here's instantly a walk you can do. It is eight and a half kilometers, so it's a fairly big walk. Um, uh, if we look down further, we've got another one which looks similar, but is shorter, so 6.9K. Uh, another one, 8.5. Um, but you can see none of these should exceed that, uh, whatever I put in here, I think our three hour maximum that I've said. And um, it is taken into consideration speed. So uh, when I click on this, it uh, is making an assumption that we are walking at a certain speed. So here we go, uh, 3.6 kilometers per hour. So if you walk faster than that um, on this particular route, then you should expect to finish this route in less than two hours and 22 minutes, um, which is good news for those of you who don't want to be out walking for more than a couple of hours. Um, but here you can see on the side, we've got some great little stats. Here's a weather forecast. Uh, and we can click in and see more photos from that people have taken from the route. Here is the Devil's Chimney itself. Sorry for the spoiler. And we can even see who has uh, created this route. And you can look them up if you want to. Um, but uh, waypoints there are here. Viewpoints, so these are all bits that people have um, put in uh, when they've created the route, or maybe they've done the route, and they've added some bits to it. Um, nice to have some people adding tips in here about this particular route. Here's the map itself, and here are some stat stats on what type of terrain to expect, which is really quite handy, isn't it, to know um, yeah, what sort of uh, conditions you're gonna expect. Here's a profile, okay, so we can see that we're going uphill for the first, what's that, 3.27K, uh, pretty much uh, a gradual climb. And, and then we've got, uh, you can see the rest of it there. Um, there's loads of things to explore, to click on. Um, you can view, or maybe not, uh, you can view things though. Um, you can save this to your uh, profile. You can customize it, it looks like, so. We can select a different starting point and we can open up the planner. Um, I assume that this will create a new version of the of the route. I would hope that it's not just going to edit someone else's route. Um, but yeah, we can edit in, in planner. 
you can export to a GPS device so uh, that will download onto your computer and then you'd have to email it to yourself um, but the key is that if you've got uh, this saved on your you know, if you've got Kamut on your phone then you can just save this route uh, to your um, to your effectively your profile okay so this will now be saved under Conogram so when I log in to Kamut on my phone um, this should appear and I can oops I should be able to edit the name of it to make it something more like what I want it to look like. Um, but you can see here at the moment it's only visible to me. So I think I might this might now be yeah, so this is a the hike that I've planned. Okay, so any edits that I make to this now will only be to the uh, the hike that that I'm doing for myself. It won't be on the original uh, view, I would hope. Um, here I can change my fitness level. And that will dictate what sort of speed uh, I'm, I'm walking at and therefore how long the walk will take. So if I say I'm at couch potato, then yeah, we see that's really increased the amount of time that it's going to take to, to finish that route. Um, and yeah, you can uh, drag stuff around if you want to. But at the end of the day, you're probably better off just leaving it as is. And you can see that there are opportunities or potential opportunities to, to cut, sh have shortcuts here. So this, any of these brown lines and black lines are typically trails that you can follow. So you can see that there are other paths available here. Um, yeah, so save it. And it should instantly be available on your phone. Um, how about I try this out? So if I now come on to my commute on my phone and I can go to planned tours. There we go. Devil's chimney loop from, oh, let's get that right. So that's literally just jumped in at first. When I first looked at it, it wasn't there. And then it obviously did a little bit of a refresh. So that's added in that uh, to, to my phone. So I can literally click on that. There's the data. Okay, and see at the bottom there, navigate. There's that magic button. So if I click on that, what's it saying? The tour is far away. Car and transit or start anyway. So I would go car and transit because I'm not going to walk to Gotherington. It's giving me the options here. I'm going to use Google Maps. And Google Maps will literally drive me to that Campton to do that walk. And obviously, when I've got there to the start point, I'll then come back out of that, go back into Kamut, and uh, then I can say start anyway because I'll be at the car park. Um, and It'll then walk me around the route, which is fantastic. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Um, really handy to know that you can find routes in your area. There are not as many as I'd like. There are some on Bishop's Cleave, uh, on Cleave Hill. There are obviously some on Devil's Chimney. Uh, but my next video is going to be more about how to make your own. So uh, look out for that one. We'll see you soon. And keep fingers crossed for a lockdown to come. <laughs> to come off as soon as possible so we can get walking together. All right, thanks for watching, see you soon.